We recently began traveling through the tunnels to avoid the guards. But many of the entrances in the city are broken. By using them, we can get to our destination rapidly without encountering resistance. Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So, oh, thank you. I'm sure I could do so much with that 124F. Anyway, in the last episode, we did the Halls of Nero and we did them to 100% which was cool and we've unlocked this game's method of fast travel which are the tunnels and we have a little bit of a way to go but now we've got fast travel we can just say where we want to go and as you can see we're going to go to a hideout so yeah god let's fast travel the fuck to there Ben trovato, Nicolò. Ah, Ser Ezio. A pleasure. Fabio Orsini, at your service. I've heard a great deal about you from my cousin, Bartolomeo Dalviano. A fine warrior. Fabio has lent us in a new storeroom on Isola Tiberina. I know you were used to better accommodations in Toscana. It is perfect. Bene. Then I am off to begin preparations for Romagna. Today, Cesare commands my men, but soon, I hope we will be free. Now, I propose we begin planning our assault on the Borgia. Oh, you think we are ready for such an attack? Si. Do you know, for instance, where the Borgia troops took Caterina Sforza? What? Are you also unaware that the Borgia have captured the Apple of Eden? How could we have lost the Apple? So, you do not know what goes on with our enemies. Do we at least have an underground here to work with? Hardly. Our mercenaries are ensnared in a losing battle with Cesare's French allies. We have girls working for us in a brothel, frequented by cardinals and other important Romans. But the madam there is lazy, and would rather attend parties than further our cause. What about the city's thieves? Do they have a guild? Si, but they refuse to talk to us. I don't know why. What are you going to do? Make some friends. And there we go. And that is sequence two. Not particularly hard because, you know, it's just sort of the beginning of the game. But we did it. So to always be celebrated doing something. Ah yes, the buns are still cheap. That is um, invulnerability. I think I mentioned that activating cheats stops like game progression. It's just sort of it's purely sort of to mess around with afterwards. Sequence three: the fighter, the lover, and the thief. Okay, so here we are. This is our little hideout, and this is how we access it. You're a beggar, but there's a viewpoint up here, which I'm going to run up and get very quickly. Um, so as you can see on the map, we've got three different options to take, um, which is I'm going to avoid the fuck out of that flag because I want to get it later. Um, which is a choice of going who of going to see... Three options on the map. It's a choice of who we go to see first. The thieves, the brothel, or the mercenaries. Um, I'm not sure who I want to go see first, because they're all quite fun. There's another thing there. God, collectibles everywhere here. But here's the um, here's a viewpoint. Well, I forget how to talk, apparently. So after this, we will cut ahead and run the hell over there. Or fast travel, but probably run. Um, just a quick thought. Okay, so, 
As you can see, after unlocking that viewpoint, it looks like we've got just a tad of a lot of things to do. So, this is the map as it looks like with only a few viewpoints done. As you can see, we've got some Templar layers, we've got some viewpoints. This golden one is where the Romulus treasure is, but we can't quite access that yet because we don't have the rest of the keys. But, we've got two layers unlocked down here. And is there one hiding behind that one or is it a viewpoint? That's a viewpoint. So we do have those two to do at least, but as you can see we've got our, view, um, our viewpoints, our um, mission starts. Um, I don't know what one to pick, I can't remember which one goes where. So, hmm. I know. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a toddler by the toe. If he hollers, let it go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Alright, we're going to the closest one. That probably saves that probably serves us good for time. But yeah. Um no, don't dive then. Don't dive. Okay, just fling yourself on top of that. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna cut ahead so I'll see you guys there. And hey, would you know we've arrived at the brothel. Don't know what that says about me or says about the game, but there we go. Welcome to the Rosa in Fiore, stranger. Salve. Would you be kind enough to call the owner for me? Madonna Solari is not in. Do you know where she is? I... Aiuto! Aiuto! Madonna Solari! Oh, Lucia! We thought you were gone for good. The men took us on a ship. And they released me, but she... Who took you on a ship? Slave traders, Messere, near Isola Tiberina. They want coin in exchange for her life. I will get her back. Alright, here we go. Deliver the money necessary to save the mistress of Rosa Fiore from slave traders holding slave traders holding her captive, excuse me. And do not swim. Seems simple enough, but I'm not sure whether or not I've got enough money to give them. I don't know can't remember how much they wanted. Oh no, got enough. Cool. Let's go. Alright, here we are then. Guys, guards are already eyeing me up. This can't go well. Are you here for the whore? Are you dirty me? I have your money. Let her go. No! Take it up with Cesare! Uh oh. That cannot just be good. Well, <laughs> make sure you're on the boat for this. That's probably the safest bet, otherwise, I won't knock you off. Come on in. I'm gonna try and get an execution streak going here. Yeah, fuck you. And you. Cool. Got it. Um, I'm gonna have a bit of a loot with the risk of seeing other guards. But one of these have got my money. Oh no, they've got so much stuff. Damn. I'm sorry. Sorry, love. Oh, whoops. The guards are going to see me in a second. And as long as I make it across this bridge, I should be fine for the sink. And you, I'm going to have some of your stuff. There we go. Hi, fellas. Didn't do anything here. This is zero to do with me. <gasps> Shit. That was close. <laughs>
Hey guys, sorry. She kind of died. Just a little bit. Um, but, hang on. Hang on, I don't recognise you. What are you doing here? Mother? Sister? Ezio. Sir Machiavelli said that you might be here. What are you doing in Roma? Has Firenze been attacked? No, or rather, I do not know. We did not go to Firenze. Why? Ezio, we want to help. I was trying to help you by sending you to Firenze. Where is Madonna Solari? She's dead. Merda. What now? Will we have to close? You cannot close. I need your help. Messere, without someone who can run things, we're finished. I'll do it. You do not belong here, Claudia. I know how to run a business. I ran Uncle Mario's for years. This is different. What alternative do you have, Ezio? You do this, Claudia, and you are on your own. I've been on my own for 20 years. Fine. I intend to repair the brothel. This place is a real mess, and I want your courtesans to find Caterina Sforza. You can count on us. Ah, here we go then. Because I stole like two grand from the slave traders, we can renovate this place. And also I'm very upset about the notion of my sister running a brothel. Very upset. Here we go, he's just around this corner. Just have a bit of a quick run around. Do, 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 do. Hey, can you magically transform my building into something like that can run a business? That's not that. That's to speak to the horse. Well, um, also I've got a horse. Would you like the horse as well? There we go, it's all magically transformed. Such a refutable establishment. Welcome to the Rosa in Fiore. As you can see, we're brothel in Roma. My money went well invested. Here, I keep a list of the skills taught to my girls. You're not teaching them much. Think you could do better? Nessun problema. Ezio. The Borgia make it difficult for Claudia's girls. There are several things you could do that would aid them. I will keep that in mind. Anything else? No. Ezio. Did you find Caterina? We are working on it. Bene. Come to see me at Isola Tiberina with her location. Okay, so there we go. Do not swim. Not that it was particularly anything difficult. So if you look at this board, we have a few challenges to complete. So if we do these things, then we get rewards. That's essentially it. I will be doing those things probably just playing through the game because it will alert you and say, oh, you've done, you've done some of this challenge, you've done some of this challenge. So... That won't be an issue, but those are the challenges we get to do. Um, so, on to the next one. Ah! Do you see that? New memory of Christina available. This is, has to be one of my favourite parts of the game. So, if you played Assassin's Creed 2, you would know that Christina was kind of like your very early on love interest. Like, there was, she was this girl that you were sort of casually seeing. But... In Brotherhood, even though she's dead, she's so much more. So I think we'll end this episode by going and doing the first Christina mission because honestly, go away. Um, because honestly, it's just one of my favourite aspects of this game. It's such a nice, it's just a nice touch, and it like revisits Assassin's Creed 2 in one of the nicest possible ways. So, where is she? Where are you, Christina? I'm gonna go around here and. Probably cause more work for myself. Where are you? Nope, gonna have a climb. Do, 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 do. Where are you, Christina? Where are you? There she is. 
And it's not really her, it's someone who looks like her, which triggers Ezio's memory, you know? It's so cute. And here we go then. Back into Ezio's past. What about that one? Oh, she is beautiful. Okay, then go talk to her. Just like that? Talk about what? It doesn't matter. See, little brother, most men are so afraid of beautiful girls that anyone who actually talks to them has an advantage. Just make it up as you go. What? What? Why are you just standing there? Oh, uh, um, because I wanted to ask you something, which is, what's your name? Not one you'll ever need to make use of. Aspetta, I wasn't ready. I was planning on being really charming and funny. And I just have a second chance. <laughs> oh, well. Ezio, all is not lost. You made her smile. She will remember you now. No, I can still fix this. I'll follow her away. See where she lives. Now here we go then, the first of the Christina missions. A second chance. Follow Christina to seek the renewal of her attentions. And this one doesn't have 100% sync, I think? It doesn't appear to do. So, yeah, this is just a little follow mission. Back in Firenze. Assassin's Creed 2, Ezio. Oh, he looks so young. What a baby. What a baby Ezio is. What a baby that Ezio is. Oh, no, she's seen me. Well, stop looking. No, 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 no. You've seen me. Walk on. I think it'll be easier to just roof it. Oh, shit. This might have been. This is a very bad. I've made a mistake. Go on, Ezio. Ezio. Oh my Christ, Ezio. Ezio. You've ruined everything. Shit, shit. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Oh my God. Am I going to fail this? Am I really going to fail this? Ah. Uh, shit. Shit. Wow. Wow. I'm just going to hide in this hair bell of shame because truly that was piss poor. Alright, I'm on to you now. You'll never see me coming. I'm like a shadow in the sky. A passing eagle. The moon at night. Don't leave me! Only in this game do I enjoy stalking a woman. I told you I'm not interested. See, si. But I am. Get in line. I think not, amore mio. I've decided I'm tired of waiting for you to open your legs on your own. Cane Rognoso! What do you want here? This has nothing to do with you! Nice to see you too, Vieri. I think you're disturbing this young lady's day. Oh, beat him the fuck up. Can't remember how to do this. Punch the shit out of him. Kick him. Kick him behind a tree. There we go. Fuck you. You are nothing. Thank you. That was very kind of you. Are you alright? I am now. You asked for my name earlier. It's Cristina. Piacere, Cristina. I met Sio. Well, Ezio, looks like you got yourself a second chance. Like, I could go on about how she rewarded him with 
sexual appeal for saving her from another man. But look at that smile! It's so cute! It's so cute that I'm going to ignore how problematic that was. Anyway, that was the first Christina mission. I'm not entirely sure what that holy blessing is, but I don't think I want to know. Anyway, so in this episode, we saw the brothel, we fixed the brothel, and then we went back into our memories and stalked our old girlfriend. Sounds like a productive day to me. What did you want, man on horse? I'll see you guys next time.